Prince William has a key role in the royal family as the Queen's trusted advisor one royal expert has said. The royal family has seen a shift in dynamic in recent years, with several senior royals stepping down from the fold. This has led to new responsibilities for royals like Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge, with royal experts saying William has stepped up his role in the firm. With Prince Andrew stepping back from royal duties, and Meghan Markle and Prince Harry retiring to Los Angeles, engagements, responsibilities and patronages have been passed to key senior royals. As future King of England, Prince William, in particular, has borne the brunt of the increased workload royal experts have said. This has meant more outings, being seen more in the public eye and preparing for future responsibilities for both the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. Managing their young family and regularly attending events has become second nature to Kate and William. And the Queen has been particularly relying on both the Cambridges and Duke and Duchess of Cornwall in recent months. Andrew Loney previously told Express.co.uk, we're in a period of what can be called a soft regency, in effect the Queen is standing back, not doing many roles. The roles that she is doing are being accompanied by Prince Charles, everyone is being prepared for Charles and Camilla. As a result, William and Kate, who seem to be very popular, are stepping into the position that Charles and Camilla had. Because they are, I would say almost more popular than Charles and Camilla, they've probably been given a higher role. The Queen will celebrate her Platinum Jubilee next year, marking a staggering 70 years on the throne. At 95 years old the monarch has continued her role with gusto, attending several events this month already. On Tuesday she attended a Westminster Abbey service marking the centenary of the Royal British Legion, and on Thursday she will attend the Welsh Parliament building in Cardiff Bay. The Queen will officially open the sixth senate along with Prince Charles and Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall. While Prince William and Kate have been busy meeting with schoolchildren to discuss Generation Earth shot at Kew Gardens to encourage children to generate big, bold ideas to repair the planet. Kate and William often top the polls as the most popular royals, and royal experts say this is only the beginning. Speaking on ITV's Lorraine the Mirror's royal editor Russell Myers said, Prince William will obviously be taking over one day, I think we've seen him really come to the fore in his new role of being a trusted lieutenant of the Queen and Charles as well. William's position at the forefront of the royal family has been highlighted during the COVID-19 pandemic. Royal expert Katie Nichol said at the start of the pandemic, we're seeing William step up in that statesman role. It strikes me as interesting that the first member of the royal family to address the nation has been William. And his prominence may be a test for the future, with one royal expert saying Charles could potentially pass the throne to his son when the time comes. Princess Diana's former voice coach, Stuart Pierce, told the son, he, Charles, may not take the throne, he may hand it to his young son. He doesn't want to do it, such a difficult task. Mr. Pierce explained William is part of the conversation and has been since his younger years. However, passing the throne directly to William could pose a challenge for Charles. University College London's Constitution Unit explains, under common law, Prince Charles will automatically become king the moment the Queen dies. Prince William could only become king if Prince Charles chose to abdicate. That would require legislation, as happened with the Declaration of Abdication Act 1936. The line of succession is regulated by Parliament, as in the Act of Succession 1700, and the Succession to the Crown Act 2013. It can be changed only by Parliament and cannot be unilaterally altered by the monarch of the day. According to royal experts, Charles, 72, may not take the throne and could instead bestow the title of king upon the Duke of Cambridge. In a report by The Sun, Princess Diana's former voice coach, Stuart Pearce, opened up about why he believes that William could be the next British monarch and not his father. He said, he, Charles, may not take the throne, he may hand it to his young son. He doesn't want to do it, such a difficult task. He added that William is part of the conversation and has been since his early teens. But if Charles decided to pass the crown straight to his son, it would require the involvement of Parliament, according to experts at University College London's Constitution Unit. On the UCL website, the group writes, that would be a matter for Prince Charles, and for Parliament. Under common law, Prince Charles will automatically become king the moment the Queen dies. Prince William could only become king if Prince Charles chose to abdicate. That would require legislation, as happened with the Declaration of Abdication Act 1936. 
The line of succession is regulated by Parliament, as in the Act of Succession 1700, and the Succession to the Crown Act 2013. It can be changed only by Parliament and cannot be unilaterally altered by the monarch of the day.